What's up everybody out there in YouTube land? How you doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Welcome to another episode of The Everyday Kitchen. Boy, that's pretty lame. I gotta come up with a new one for that. Anyway, how's everyone doing today? Guys, today we are going to make a dish that I made a couple of weeks back and I really enjoyed it it's nothing extravagant it's nothing crazy because here on the everyday kitchen we don't do that let's take a look at the ingredients shall we look at there we got a little bit of that penne pasta we have some ragu we have some brotatole, brotatole. hey look at that we got some shrimp and we got some Japanese blend of frozen Greta the Fancy. There we go. That's basically our ingredients. This stuff turned out really good last time I had it. Um, I normally never cook up shrimp like this. Uh, I always just eat it, you know, dipped in some cocktail sauce. But I really enjoyed that whenever I did it. And I thought, bingo, let's make a video so we're gonna make a video right now I've got the pan heating up just a smidgen just a smidgen just a smidgen got things going on you know how we do here we kind of roll with the flow that's how we do it on the everyday kitchen why is it the everyday kitchen because look it's an ugly small kitchen okay it's the everyday kitchen. Most people have ugly small kitchens. Let's face it. We're not all HGTV alumni. Okay? We're not all the big wigs. We live in normal average everyday homes with average everyday kitchens. So let's get the ingredients flowing. First of all, we are going to dump some shrimp into that there pan. So let's get that going, shall we? Fry this up just for a few minutes here. Get it going real good. The secret with this shrimp, the secret with the shrimp, don't tell anyone, don't tell, is don't cook it. On too high of a heat for too long because then it goes from a little shrimp to a teeny tiny itty bitty shrimp it all shrimps away we don't want that so we're gonna cook it up we're gonna let that cook up for a little bit get a little bit done a little bit pretty and then we're going to start adding some more stuff so you hang in there guys hang in there this is going to be good i promise all right how you doing our next step is we're going to add this little bag of goodies right here now you don't have to get this a exact one they have several different kind of these sort of things that you can get and matter of fact you don't even have to put them in there if you don't want it's just something i did uh, whenever i made this dish a couple weeks ago and i enjoyed it so i'm gonna enjoy it again so let's go over here and dump this in shall we Mm. 
I don't know where my camera was going. And to be honest, I don't think this is the same one that I got last time. I think the last one I got had like the little whole snap peas or whatever the heck they're called. I believe. That's Ella. She's our 20 pound cat. She probably wants to eat the camera. So let's keep it away from her. Uh, now we're going to let this cook up a little bit. See where we go from there. This is definitely not the same mixture I had last time, but we're going to make it work. There are no rules. Let's go take a look, all right? Looking pretty good, guys looking pretty good I'm gonna let that cook a little longer I've had it on pretty low here um, of course anytime you put the lid on your pans and stuff like that it gets hotter so you can actually turn uh, turn the temperature down so that's what I did at that point had the lid on turned it down let it kind of get to cooking because all that was frozen so I want to get it cooking so let's wait it out and continue after oh yeah we're ready okay at this point we are adding the penne pasta penne pasta up in here penne pasta Alright guys, we are ready to add our sauces. Again, I got two different kinds. Uh, this one was a little bit more expensive. It looks like it has some goodies in there. This is a normal one that I buy. Uh, probably most people buy. Could I make my own? Sure. Will I one day? Probably. Not right now. So let's go over here. Get these put in. Let it kind of simmer on down. And then we're going to eat. Mm -hmm. 
Now I do put some water in the jars. And I give them a little shake. There we go. All right, guys, it's done. As you can see, it's nice and warm. Now, you could let it set for a few minutes and kind of thicken up and, and set up, but I'm okay. And look here. I'm going to use a glass bowl. Look at that. No paper plate today. No paper plates. I'm going fancy. Gonna put a little black pepper. Gonna put a little garlic salt. We're going to try it, see how it is. I did use a different vegetable blend than the last time and a little different uh, Alfredo sauce. So it ain't going to taste exactly like it did last time, but that's okay. We are experimenting. Warm. Pasta's done. Now I know a lot of you might not make your pasta that way. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, I forget. Uh, sometimes I'll get a separate pan, pot, whatever, and uh, boil the noodles separately. But you can do it in the same, in the same thing. All this, you could have done all this in a pot, or you could have done it in a pan like this. It doesn't really matter. You can cook it all together. It's very easy. And less dishes. So, don't know if you can get a good glimpse. The old action camera. Not bad. And I put a lot more shrimp this time. I accidentally put more shrimp than I wanted. Last time I made this, I put like half the bag, and then the other half of the shrimp I ate with cocktail sauce. 
it's kind of what I meant to do here, but I was just like, -da! threw it all in there. It's all right. Hmm. It's good stuff, guys. It's easy to make. It don't cost a whole heck of a lot. That little bag of shrimp that you've seen uh, at my local IGA, it's uh, it's under $6 for the bag. And even if you cook it like this, there's plenty. Or if you just thaw them out and then eat them with cocktail sauce, plenty. I mean, it's a, it's a good snack or it's good to eat with a meal or it's good to cook. Uh, that's the most expensive thing. Then you got the box of penne pasta, which can range anywhere from a dollar to whatever. And then you got the uh, the Alfredo sauces in that that can range from a dollar to you know five dollars a jar. Or if you want to make your own, go for it. And then that uh, that bag of uh, vegetable medley type stuff was under two dollars. I don't remember what it was, but it was under two dollars. So, you know, you can make you a nice meal pretty cheap. So, and it'll last me a couple couple meals easy. So, guys, that's all we're going to do here on this episode of The Everyday Kitchen. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, sorry for the intro. I'm trying to learn how to intro into The Everyday Kitchen. I hope you enjoy some of the goofy outtakes that uh, I'm probably going to put at the end. I don't know. I might. I've never done that before, but I might. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope I inspire you to do things from riding bikes to working out to playing video games to drawing, coloring, uh, photography, walking, hawking, uh, hawking. Hi! I'm sipping some shine. Hiking. Tennis, basketball, football, whatever it is, whatever your poison, knitting, sewing, I don't care what it is. Get that mind going. Get yourself going. Fight depression. Fight anxiety. Fight everything every day. And don't forget, get up, get out, get red, do it to it, even when sucking at trying to make an intro for the video. We'll see you guys later. I'm fixing to eat this. See ya. Ella, you quit whining. This is the Everyday Kitchen. I'm doing an episode, alright? Chill out, cat. Word. The Everyday Kitchen is kitchening for you. God, that's horrible. I don't know. Do I go back to the drawing board or what? The Everyday Kitchen. Yo, it's the Everyday Kitchen. This is Mikey Mike up in the house, in the everyday kitchen, yo. That was horrible. Like Zoink Scoob, it's the everyday kitchen. Yeah, the everyday kitchen. <laughs> Really weird and wild stuff he's doing in there. That's a, that's really weird. It's really, really. Uh, uh. It's the everyday kitchen with Mikey Sun. The everyday kitchen is bitching for you. Uh, D.
Everyday Kitchen is the kitchen for you. It's the only kitchen you're going to ever need. Hi everyone, it's the Everyday Kitchen up in here. Mikey Sun is at your service. Here I am. Let's cook a little bit of something. Need a little excitement? Snap into the everyday kitchen. Oh yeah! Woo! Hi! Welcome to the everyday kitchen. I'm Michael, better known as Mikeyson. Come on, let's cook a little bit of food in the everyday kitchen. Shum on! <laughs> I think I got it this time. <clears throat> Hi. This is Michael, better known as Mikeyson. And this is our latest episode of The Everyday Kitchen. I just want to thank you for tuning in and watching. I believe we're going to have a wonderful, wonderful time creating this dish. Eh, that ain't good either. Welcome to the Everyday Kitchen. We're going to make a wonderful pasta dish. Hey everybody, how are you doing today? This is Michael, or better known as Mikey Sun. And today, we're making a new episode of The Everyday Kitchen. I hope you enjoy. Maybe I could wrap it. I don't know. Yo, Everyday Kitchen, yo up in here. Oh, peace out. I don't know. Hey guys, how you doing today? Today, on The Everyday Kitchen, we're going to be making some shrimp pasta with some alfredo sauce topping hey guys how you doing today welcome to the everyday kitchen why is this the everyday kitchen look at this what a crap hole hey guys how's everyone doing today we have a new episode of the everyday kitchen that's right it's been a while I thought it was time that I share some wonderful food with some wonderful people and I hope that you'll stick around and watch this because it's gonna be good I promise you that let's get this done hi everybody this is the next episode of the everyday kitchen why is it called the everyday kitchen have you taken a look at this place it sucks I don't like it it reminds me of a dump I hate it just kidding come on let's go we're about to add the other stuff let's do this <laughs> Hi everybody! <laughs> this is the everyday kitchen. <laughs> I'm a little bit bashful right now because I'm on the camera. <laughs> this is crazy! <laughs> <laughs> 